Hello, I'm going to show you how to print a list of the files inside of a folder. Um, we come across this every so often and we wonder how to do it. Of course we could open any folder on our system. Oh, and let me clarify, this is for a Mac. There's different ways for a PC and I'll show that in a different video, but for the Mac. Of course we can open a video, uh, any folder and we see the list of files. And that's great. If we want to open, we could do whatever. I mean, we know this part, but you can't just print it. Um, so we need to find a different way if we want a list of this, either to edit or to print or for whatever reason you decide. There's a couple easy ways. Uh, the first way I'm going to show you is we're going to use the text to edit application here on the Mac. I'm going to find mine by going to the launch pad. Mine is under other and here's text edit and I'm going to choose a new document. Now it's best that under format you want to make sure that make rich text is off. You can keep it on but that could affect some formatting so to make it easy just have it plain text. Now you have your document open. You're going to go back into the folder that you want to print out. Now here you have two choices. I'm going to show you the one I don't like first. You have your files, you're going to select all. Now you have your choices, of course. Um, under edit you could do select all. You could right click and do cop, oh no, can't do it that way. I'm going to just do command A and select all. Now the two ways of doing this, I have all my files selected as you see there in blue. I'm going to pull it over into the document and there you go. Now you have a list of all your files and you can do what you want with it whether it be print or whatever. Now the reason I don't like this way is because you see that it has the full path on it. That's not fun. I don't want to edit all of that out. So we're going to do it differently. It's actually almost the same way but a little different. Go back to your list. You're going to select all however you want to do that. Um, you're going to copy whether it be right click or do command C or go back up to the edit. Here's the copy 743 items. That's how many I had. Now instead of dragging it I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to paste it in there. Again whichever way you do that. For me I'm going to do command V. There you go. Now you just have all the file names and you can do a save as and do whatever you want with this list. Now I'm using text edit for this. You can, let's get rid of this, you can do it in Word um, along the same lines. I already hit, you already saw that I selected all and I copied. Now I could do a paste into here and it'd be the same thing. I'd have the same uh, list of files. Now where this is different is you don't want to drag it into here and I'll show you why. I'm going to select all. If you drag it into here it's really only going to show you whatever the first item is which happens to be this picture and that's it. So that was really kind of worthless. I just prefer using the text edit for a lot of things. Not everybody has Word anyway. So I hope this helps. Um, I'm also going to have a video on ways to do this on a PC.